In the 2023.2 version of SA, we've improved our ability to process cloud data and extract features from it, particularly as it pertains to slots, so um, or any sheet metal part for that matter. And I wanted to demonstrate that for you. So first of all, uh, if you wanted to extract a feature, so you can just go to 2D geometry and say extract from CAD. So that's the idea. It's really just that simple. When you do so, you create a relationship, a geometry relationship, and that's the key. You have to use geometry relationships to effectively extract data from the cloud because it has all the tools built in. So I have a point cloud here. What I'm going to do is just say associate data. And if you notice, there's a clouds option and no proximity option. You don't need it anymore. You can just use clouds and pick and it is now associated to this feature. And nothing happened because I haven't changed the extraction settings and we have settings for that now. If you go in here and you go to configure cloud traffic filter, you've got the ability to choose between just simple association and extracted data. And you can choose the method in which to extract the data. So if I say 2D hole and hit apply, it'll extract. And you can go to wireframe so you can see what it's done is build a or extract a set of data that's offset by this amount and has um, that in width, so three millimeter width, and it uses the edge points or boundary points to define where the measured circle is. Alternatively, I could do a 3D hole, which has two sets of settings, and that's because it also extracts data down inside the hole within this bandwidth. So really, you can just dynamically choose between the two and flip back and forth as you choose. So that's the advantage of the new version. You can just use the, all the data, you can choose a, a subset, and you can just apply those settings. And every time you hit apply, it'll recompute. And it builds a new set of extracted clouds for you. So if I set this as default and close, I can then build additional features. And there's two ways. I showed you there's this one here. You can also uh, set what faces you want to choose if you want to extract from CAD and then use any of these additional buttons. So those are all options, but since I happen to have a bunch of circles already, what I'm going to do is just go to select nominal geometry and build them. And I actually have a bunch of slots, and I'm just going to build all of them at once. So now that I have them all, what I've done is I've essentially converted all of those geometries into the geometry relationships. But if you notice, they don't have any data associated like this first one. I associated this ping cloud and then extracted data. So you need a way to easily associate that cloud to all of these features. And the way that you do it is you go in here under auto filter. Auto filter is the entry point for that. And you can um, just select the relationships. And I don't need that first one anymore. And I can select the cloud. In this case, it would be that pink cloud. And we've added this use filter settings. So you can set the settings in the feature and then um, just simply use the ones custom set as your extraction. You can hit off filter and it'll run through all of them and do its best to extract. And if you notice, the slots didn't do so well. Um, the reason for that was I didn't actually edit the settings. So you edit the settings, you go under here and you go to configure trapping filter. And if you notice, it's the same as for the circles. I can choose between 3D and 2D. I can hit apply. And I can also say apply to selected. So since I've already built them, I can just say apply those settings to all of them. It'll immediately go out and extract all of them. So if you notice, it's a pretty dynamic process. If I close this now, if you another thing that's kind of nice is that the type of cloud is different. So it's extracting white clouds from the pink cloud. So if I just delete all my white clouds, I've just lost all of the data that was extracted, but I can easily reprocess them all under a option here under the relationship category, which is refresh filter to cloud data. So really everything is dynamic, it's all tied together. Um, that's the nice thing about saving the input or reference cloud and then allowing you to extract is that you can then process and play with the settings that you choose, the offsets that you choose. So if you have, were too close to an edge, for example, that sort of thing, 
that's there. Uh, you also have the ability to do exactly the same thing with slots, which is something that wasn't an option before. So those are just a few of the features that really kind of make life pretty easy when you're working with sheet metal parts and you're looking to generate um, a, a report of extracted features.